In this video, we're going to learn how we can personalize that background that we see on the Windows desktop. To personalize my desktop, I'm going to take my mouse and place it in the middle of the desktop and right click. That's going to bring up a menu and at the bottom of that menu, we're going to find an option called personalize. I'll click on that and a box is going to pop up and this is going to let me choose from some preset themes to change the background image and some of the window colors that I see on my desktop. And so if I use the scroll bar on the right and scroll down, here I can see my arrow themes and I'm going to click on one. I'll click on nature. You'll see when I click on nature, the computer is going to think for a second and then it'll apply that background in those particular colors. And I can try another one, such as characters. I'll left click on that. And I'll go ahead and apply that theme. You can apply whichever one you like. You can go back to the default theme, which is the Windows 7 theme, by clicking over here. Now, if you scroll down using the scroll bar even more, we have some more themes called the basic and high contrast themes, which are a little more simple and strip out some of the flashy Windows 7 stuff if you like something that's a little easier and simple to look at. For instance, Windows Classic here is very, very simplified. I'm going to scroll up though and click on Windows 7. That should load back in. There we go. Also note, at the very bottom, we have an option here called Desktop Background. That lets us change just the background image without affecting the other colors. So if I click on desktop background, here I see a list of different background images that I can use. And if you'd like to apply that image, simply left click on it and you'll see it applied behind you here. Our default Windows logo is at the very bottom and I can click on that. Now we can also go up to the top where it says picture location. There's a drop down menu beside that. I can left click on it and I can find pictures that are in my pictures library. Or I can look at just solid colors to use if I don't want to use a picture at all. But I'm going to go back to Windows desktop backgrounds, scroll down to the very bottom, click on the Windows one. And when you're done, you can press save changes. That'll take you back and when we're done, I can go ahead and I can close this window by going up to the top right and pressing the red X button. That will close it and apply any of my desktop personalizations. So there we have personalizing the desktop. In the next video, we're going to look at changing the screen resolution.